Good morning. I know I look so fabulous. I haven't vlogged in so, so long. I thought today I would at least start a vlog. I don't know that today necessarily is gonna be super interesting, but I thought I could take you guys through the weekend at least. Um, today, as you're watching this, well, not as you're watching it, today as I'm filming it, I am officially 34 weeks pregnant and I feel huge and pretty miserable. So I had an appointment yesterday and um, things are going fine and great and everything. We can talk about it more in depth later. But um, yeah, it's been an interesting little journey. But today what I need to do is edit like crazy. I really only have two videos to edit because I haven't filmed, but one is our pumpkin patch vlog that hopefully by now is up. I'm honestly wondering if there's enough footage for it to be its own vlog or if I need to insert it somewhere else. If so, maybe that's what today will be. But um, then I have one other campaign video that I'm so excited for uh, that I just want it to be perfect and I'm like really stretching myself thin over it because I'm trying so hard to get it exactly how I want it. Um, and yeah, so today's Friday. Dustin actually has to work tomorrow as well, um, but hopefully for not like a full, full day. And then this weekend we have to work on the nursery. I'm gonna walk in there right now and show you guys how that's looking and what the update is there. Like I said, we're gonna talk more in depth about it later, but geez, walking, why? At this point, why do you even need to, need to walk? I've walked all the months of pregnancy and officially now I'm done walking. It hurts too much. Okay, nursery. Well, <laughs> I was gonna say, it's looking pretty good in here. It looks like a wreck in here right now, but it's coming along. I have pretty much everything kind of where things need to be. I'm gonna show you guys and it's gonna look bad, but let's just talk through it. So this heap right here is actually my hospital bag the boppy that I want to bring to the hospital. And then this, I am going to go through this in like a separate video, but this is just a bag of stuff I thought would be nice to have in the car in case we needed it. Um, but I don't think that we will like extra diapers, that kind of thing. This right here is this changing pad. Um, so that's what this is. This is, if I can get the rest of the house clean, going to move out of here and be just right by the garage door, ready to go. Um, we still have, this is my breast pump. Some random stuff. That's Dash's hospital bag, so that's part of this. Uh, sprawled out. I just feel like I'm going to pan up and show you guys. Sugi, that's not your swing. This is the big thing, and this is why I feel like I'm stumped right now. We're doing something beautiful over on the wall that's going to be behind his crib, but we had obviously like some nails and stuff where we had hung stuff, so um, we patched them, now we need to sand them, and then we need to paint them all before we can do his little mural that's gonna be on that wall. But then once we do that, we're gonna be able to put the crib back. Now, another sneaky thing. This mattress is from Graco, um, and I don't understand the customer service on this is saying to contact Storkraft, which is another brand. Um, but it didn't fully inflate. I don't know if you guys can tell right here. It's like really loose and, um, I can't remember if it's on this side or this side, but there's like a really big dip down in it. And it clearly says in the instructions, if it does not fully inflate, you cannot use it, return it. It is a hazard. I've been trying for weeks to get this thing returned and it's just been a mess. Also, big belly. So anyways, this weekend I need to get that done too because I'll just feel better when I have the bed fully ready for him and like this fully ready for him. I have been working. Did you bring me your pumpkin? Thank you. I have been working on this room, I feel like every single day for so long that it's kind of like annoying not to have, like the fact that it's not finished, but the walls I couldn't do by myself. Um, Dustin has been working like crazy and working a lot of overtime, and so there just literally hasn't been time, but I hope that this weekend we can knock that out. Then we're gonna hang his wall art. Um, all of this stuff is actually my postpartum stuff. Lance and sent over a ton of good stuff. I did learn yesterday, though, at my doctor appointment. Let's see if I can reach this. 
and not knock everything over. Oh no, I got the right thing. So I, this is a personal pregnancy thing. I thought I had gotten laxatives and I asked my doctor when I should start taking them. Um, and if there was one that he recommended, he was like, well, not laxatives, stool softener. And I was like, oh, okay. And I thought I got the wrong thing, but it looks like I got the right thing. The thing we have going on in here that looks like a whole big thing is the swing um, that Lolly and Pops actually got us for Christmas. It's an early Christmas present because he doesn't have a swing. And while we were moving it um, in the car and everything, a little piece I don't think you guys are probably gonna be able to see. Oh, you can see kind of like that. You see like right down there, that little shiny metal piece? Um, yeah, it's stuck. So we're gonna have to get Pops over here with some of his tools to get that sorted out. And then I'm thinking, I might try to see if I can get it in this corner. I'm also thinking, I know I was like, I'm not gonna talk a lot about it right now, but here we are. I'm thinking that the hamper, needs to go somewhere over here, um, maybe like right there, because my, my thought process is if I'm changing him and I have a blowout, I'm not gonna wanna be like, let me just leave these clothes right here while I get you changed and then I'll pick you up and then I'll carry your clothes over there. Um, and I obviously wouldn't leave him unattended on the changing table either, so it might be nice just to have something to throw in there. But anyway, this is his little room coming along. I. Again, I feel like this is all I do. Come in here, start working, and then and then leave. <laughs> and it's no better than what I came in to, but we'll get it. We'll get it done. All right, let's go, girl. There you go. There you go. There you go. Use this shot. Come in further. I can't bend over further. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if I got that shot, got but <laughs> there 
There you go. Yeah. You are? Okay. Ooh, almost. Yep. There it is. Hey! Nice basket. All right, come here. Baseball's your thing, huh? Well, this is, these are big targets. I know, but like, if you were gonna play something, would, would you go back for baseball? To right. Left it is. Are you just saying left every time? <laughs> no, I'm saying left because it seems like it's getting closer. Sort of. Yeah, I think so. Or is this just the top? I don't know. Is this the exit? Look at you go. <laughs> Record time. This has been seven minutes and one second. All right. We win. Woohoo. Woohoo. We need the Rocky theme song playing. Yes. Uh -uh. <laughs> <I'm so scared. laughs> he made me think he was coming down. <laughs> what have we done? Well, <laughs> what if you got all the way back? We them a swing. In game in the little bing Did you get any footage of that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's still. 
So I know it's probably loud because the air conditioning is on. My hair, I said it was like every 10 minutes I felt like my hair was getting crazier. My ears are so red. But we had so much fun. Um, we come and do this pumpkin patch every year and I was trying to remember the first year that we came to do it because we've been doing it for a really, really long time. And I said this weekend to Dustin, I didn't realize he's working a couple weekends in October. Well, actually, I think every weekend. And I was like, I'm really sad because we're not gonna get to do the pumpkin patch. And I like didn't realize that, you know, I just feel like October's going so quickly um, for me. And it's like the closer that we get to baby, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like flying by. And so he came home on Monday night and was like, on Wednesday, we're going on a date. And I took the whole day off and we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch. So anyway, I could cry about it. And I was just thinking how sweet he is the whole time we were here. Super emotional right now. It's almost like I'm seven months pregnant or something. We have to go now to pick up our car because you probably can't tell from Ugh. looking in here, but this is actually a rental car. It is a rental car. Cause I don't think, oh yeah, we vlogged that we we got dinged up and it feels like it's taken forever, but um, it has been a little while. It's been two weeks, hasn't it? Almost. Um, I don't know. If I it think was... it's been a week. Okay, in a few days maybe. Yeah. I was just saying that we do this every year, but I was trying to remember yesterday when the last, uh, when the first time we did this was. Do you remember? Before we were married. Yeah, I remember it was before we were married. There's uh, a tractor coming this way. Okay, so it's been a while. Yeah. This way. It's gonna get bumpy because we're on our little gravel road out, but you had fun? Yep, did you have fun? Yeah. Okay. This year, um, ironically, being super pregnant and sweaty, I feel like I was able to enjoy it a little bit better this year because I remember last year, I had such bad PCOS pain and I was trying so hard that day to just enjoy it. Last year you did? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I was so, that's not how you're supposed to get in here. I was so frustrated that I felt like I couldn't have a good time last year like I wanted to, but this year was good. So yeah. it's fun to go around and do things like this and think about like, when Dash is here, we'll do this or show mm -hmm. him this or whatever, so. Especially stuff like this where it doesn't really change year to year mm -hmm. too much. Whoa. He's like, well, I'm going anyway. Oh, I can't back up. Well, wait, wait, he's gonna go in that driveway. I, I think, think he we is. can't back up, bud. I well, know. Shoot. Let's see if that truck will let me back up. Well, he better. What a dumb and why would you not just pull into the driveway? Right. Anyway, now he has to back up. He missed his house. That was a one-way exit. We almost got to kiss the front of a UPS truck. Yep. Um, yeah, stuff like this that it doesn't change very much. Yeah, so you can kind of say, oh, next year we're gonna mm -hmm. this, that. And this little particular place is fun because it has a couple things that are like for super babies, but then like sort of toddlers, and then it has kind of like some grown-up stuff too, like an escape wood. So anyways, yep. fun. So yeah, now we have to go pick up our car. Um, we're gonna go get our car. I'm gonna drive it to the rental place and then we're gonna meet up there. And then I think we might go by Target. With a, My backpack. Oh. Um, to pick up some postpartum items. Postpartum. So, did you have fun? Did you? Yeah. Good. Love you. Love you.